Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky 194. Stay double fire. And I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop in and visit. Check out my video. And we are here in Low Fuel Motorsports. The uh, Coach Dave Sprint GT3 Series here. We're at Paul Ricard. I'm on outside pole. I'm in split two. So my rating has taken a tank lately. So we're going to see what we can do here. Great start. The last few races here in Low Field Motorsports, I can't even really get past lap one. So hopefully we can do better today. My safety rating has taken a complete nosedive. So the goal for today is to try to just finish the race, you know, the best we can, but without complications. That's really the main, if I win or podium or what, I mean, just top five would be great. Um, I just need to finish with no altercations because I just, my points are just in a free fall. She would start battling back there. That'd be that would help me out. McLaren second and a Porsche third.
He's hanging right there. Yeah, the last few races have just been absolute disasters. And, you know, of course I get hit with the points and I've got guys hitting me and I have, can't do nothing about it. So, <laughs> no, just one of those things. Closed it up a little bit. Looks like a little bit more speed than he does down the straightaway. The pole just hit like a tenth or so here or there.
back out a few tents. It's a little quicker in the infield it looks like than I am. Staying right there. Took a little break by us out. Hopefully that'll do me for the rest of the race. I hope. Don't want to get too crazy with the rear brake. up there. Might not be the super fastest, but I want to be the most consistent. Okay, I'm still right around my delta. It's perfectly fine. Gained some time on him. He had a mistake.
about the same times there. Only a couple tents off, so that's not bad. Mess that up. Back in again, making a few mistakes. So we pretty much left everybody else. Back out. Keep going here, my Delta.
mistake. So he went made one too. <laughs> Laps to this one in another lap. doing good in this first sector and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm struggling on the back part. I'm starting to slip and slide a little. if he could get around me anyway because he's a little slower but I mean the thing is he could dive bomb me right there in the last corner and that's what I don't want Did I need that in LFM? Really bad. Awesome. Whipped. Woohoo! I don't get many wins, especially in LFM, so I'll take everything I can get. Especially, you know, full field. So, I'll take it. You see, it was McLaren's like crazy up front. So, not too many, a lot of BMWs, uh, one Honda, a couple of Porsches, um, nice. um, some nice fights. I really enjoyed that. That was really fun, and I did better than I thought I would. Um, as far as just, you know, like I said, I would have been happy with the top five. 
but uh, really happy with the result. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the race. Um, wasn't super exciting, but I mean, it was from you know sitting in this, my seat. It was pretty exciting for me because he was he kept pressure on me the whole time, but not a lot of passing or anything. Not any passing, <laughs> but um, I mean, I'm sitting here sweating. So it's amazing, isn't it? Amazing how much a video game or sim, however you want to call it, slash video game, man, it it can work you to death, and you work and sweat, and it's just amazing. <laughs> it's never thought, you know can make you, you know, even a little nervous and this and that, and you're working so hard. It's, it's amazing how it does that. But like I said, I'm real happy, and uh, I hope some good results will continue in LFM. I keep really trying. I haven't had really good results, you know, a lot of sporadic stuff, but uh, hopefully I can do a little bit better. So I appreciate it, and I sure hope you give me a like and subscribe. It really helps the little channel, and I, we just broke 4,700 subscribers. So thank you very much to everybody. Um, Big accomplishment and uh, for everyone. Um, like I said, I, I really enjoy all the friends that I've made and hope to make a lot more. And uh, just and just enjoy everybody that enjoys the same thing with sim racing and all those kinds of things. So I really, really like it. And um, I appreciate your support. And I hope you come back and visit again. See you. Sorry about that. I forgot to show everybody the setup. <laughs> That's my mess up. So excited. Finally getting a win in, that, in uh, Low Fuel Motorsports that I, did, I forgot all about it. So, of course, I'll leave a link to the setup down in the description. And um, so let's go over the setup. And uh, give me a chance also, I looked over some data and made some small a little adjustments on the uh, shocks. Um, so try to dial them in even a little bit more. But they were, you know, just a few little things here and there, nothing big. So let's go over that. We got 25.1 left front, 25.7 left rear. 26.5 right front and right rear. The toes negative 0 0.02 with the camber at negative 3.5 in the left front, negative 3.4 on the right front. Casters at 13.1. Toe on the rear is negative 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.1 on the left rear and negative 2.9 on the right rear. Um, nothing really to say around here. Um, you know, you could maybe add just a teeny, you know, one or two, one click maybe to the negative camber in the front, but I always like it really tight. So, but that's about it. Electronics, I had it at three, four, and three. Um, again, it seemed pretty good there. Fuel, of course, it only had uh, 48 liters, which was perfect. Thank you, Joe Blow. Right to the end, my light was coming on, so that's good. But I actually tested it with like 51. Uh, actually, I tested it with 80, but and it was fine with 80. Uh, but I mean, then I took went down to 50 doing some more tuning and stuff so again it should be good either way mechanical got four on the any roll bar brake bias is 60 steering ratio is 14 springs in the front are 174,000 with a bump stop rate of 700 and a bump stop range of five on the left front and 10 on the right front springs on the rear are 173,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 20 on the left rear and 32 on the right rear any roll bar is one, and the preload on the diff is 80. This is one area that probably I could do some more work. And you know, if I come out with another setup, a revise, this is probably where I'll concentrate because I still wish it could take the bumps a little bit better. And I think it has to do with the spring and the bump stop rates. So, you know, and the ranges, of course. So I think it could go over the bumps a little bit better. But I mean, you got to try to find that and not hurt your performance. So again, or or try to gain in performance. So again, that's something that takes a lot of fine tuning and just testing and see what works, what doesn't. But you know, this was decent. I just call it. I give it a you know a grade C. <laughs> it could definitely room for improvement there. Uh, but you know, Paul Ricard, those curbs and stuff are pretty brutal. But I, I, it needs to do a little bit better over that. I know the shocks are close, so I know there's not much improvement there because it's they're pretty they came in pretty good. Uh, left front's 21, 18, 27, and 30. And the right front is 18, 19, 29, and 32. On the rear, the left rear is 9, 7, 10, and 14. And the right rear is 9, 8, 10, and 13. So, again, they're pretty close, but they are different. And, again, I tune each corner uh, by Motec. So, whatever it's telling me is how I try to adjust it. Arrow, I got 58 in the front, 60 in the rear with a two rear wing and a three and a two and a brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a 1.0 to the positive. Now, there's a couple different things you can try. Um, 
let's see. I'll give you a heads up. Basically, if you want to try another setup, all you have to do is raise this to 59, lower this to 59, and lower this to 1. And you can try that and see if you like that. Um, I almost ran it that way. It seemed pretty good. Gained about another mile an hour down the straightaway. Um, but I just couldn't attack the corners the way I wanted to. And also, it just seemed a little bit more inconsistent. So once the tires wore, I'm, what I, I should have said, you know, once it, you got a little bit longer into the stent, it seemed it fell off a little bit more. So again, I was like, you know, you know, was starting to slide more than I wanted and this and that. So basically, that's when I decided, well, I'm just going to go ahead and go for, you know, go for the handling part and go for this and, you know, and see just where it ends up. More, Actually, more a little bit on the conservative side because, like I said, I was really just wanting a top five. I mean, that's what I was – my goal, um, really just try to get in the top five would have been great. Um, and so I just – instead of – on the corner of a little bit more aggressive, I went to the corner of more conservative, um, just so I could. Again, I want to be there hitting it every lap. And as as the tires come off, I know you're going to lose time, but I'm trying to keep that as little as I had. You know, maybe it won't come off so much. You don't lose too much. So, or just like a fall off a cliff. So anyway, I hope this works good for you. Any comments about it? Let me know. I hope you try it. Um, you know, all my setups, I really try to make driver friendly. Um, you know, as much as I can and, you know, to keep performance and still, you know, to where it's not such on a razor's edge that you can't control it. Um, so again, I sure hope it works good for you and we'll see you the next time.